was the beginning of December when we finished shooting. And I remember I saw it, I'm going to give the studio a Christmas present. I'm going to show you the picture at Christmas. I said, well, you just finished shooting. I said, wait. So three weeks after we wrapped, we showed them the picture at a screening at the studio at Paramount. And everybody's very happy. They previewed it in 100 theaters across the country, one showing only. And that started in a lot of word of mouth. And the picture was very much liked by the public. It uh, caught on right away, even though it got mixed reviews. What? People remembered as having gotten great reviews. It didn't really. Truth is, Paper Moon got mixed reviews and did great. Oh, goody. The picture did very well at the box office, and the studio was very happy with it. It was one of the biggest grocers of the year. The picture got four Academy Award nominations for Best Screenplay from Another Medium, two Best Supporting Actress, Tatum and Madeline, and Best Sound. I didn't get nominated, and uh, Ryan didn't get nominated, and Photography didn't get nominated, and we were all kind of disappointed about that. So I didn't go to the Oscars that year, feeling a little left out. Mose. Mm -hmm. Hat. Mose. Wait, wait a minute. Wait till I say that. So I was home watching on TV when Tatum won and thanked Ryan and me, and I don't think either of us were there. Tatum was the youngest person ever to win an Academy Award. I think she still is. Most pay attention. What's the trouble? I seen something peculiar. What's that? That man in there. What man? Sitting by the steps. Oh, God, I did it again. God, I went up there. All in 10, all through the film, trying to be very simple, not too overcomplicate it. I think we really achieved it, you know, because now everybody's talking about this film. It's like a classic, you know, everybody's favorite film. Name is Prey. Moses Prey. Tell him the Kansas Bible Company. He'll know. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, but Mr. Morgan has passed off. <laughs> One of the wonderful achievements that Peter did with this movie was that he was able to achieve a movie that was touching but not sentimental, and it was funny but without slapstick. And he was really able to touch a chord in people's hearts in a very moving way. And I think it was uh, uh, a great achievement. Hold it. It works. All I can say is that when I saw it, I thought it was a perfect film. I admire the people who made the film. I think, weren't they great? And then all of a sudden, I realized I was one of them. You just realize that you were just so fortunate to be part of such an extraordinary film. Keep your sunny side up, up, up. I'm proud of the picture. I'm proud of everybody that worked on it. Everybody contributed a lot. It was a real team that made it. Are you pushing? Of course I'm pushing! I think the picture still works for audiences because there's nothing to date about it. It was already dated. It's sort of like a pre-shrunken shirt, you know? Why don't you go play bingo or something? I don't want to play bingo. The movie itself was very much 1935 with some 70s actors. We just told it as a classic story, and so it retains its simplicity and its honesty about the relationship between the father and daughter. You owe me $85.74.